St. Louis, like other parts of the country, is struggling. We're in the trenches every day doing the best we can to meet the needs of those that reach out to us day in and day out. Our mission is to strengthen neighborhoods one family at a time, and we've been doing that for 35 years. We launched the 24-1 initiative about two years ago. We said, let's see if we can take our work and some of the success we've had and take it to the boundaries of this entire school district, which amazingly has 24 cities in one school district. When you look at the focus of 24-1, strong communities, engaged families, and successful children, those are so essential to creating an environment where kids can not only persevere, but can move ahead. Pine Lawn is perhaps the most challenged of all the municipalities. And because of that, I think our Board of Education made the decision that our new state-of-the-art facility should be in the most challenged community. This garden was really built on community partnership. Here when the kids are pulling up their vegetables, they're learning for the first time how their food is grown. We probably gonna make like uh, salad. Probably some salad, salad, some greens. The radish should be ready in 25 days. As kids are eating healthier, it lends to their performance in the classroom. We really want to make sure all of our residents, no matter how old and how young, are healthy. We started with the new school, and now we're going into the neighborhoods, and hopefully within the next 30 to 40 days, we'll start groundbreaking on new homes. My vision is to have new streets, new sidewalks, new residents, new businesses. This is what I'm excited about. With this economy, we've had quite a few foreclosures, and we were really blessed with Beyond Housing. They came in and bought some of the houses and rehabbed them. We're looking at, again, how do we create opportunities to create a housing stock that is vibrant, that has value, that is not deteriorating because of the foreclosure problem. Today, we own 341 single-family homes that we rent to low-income families. Regrettably, on the flip side of homeownership creation, we do foreclosure counseling. It's a problem here in St. Louis. Our numbers are still at all-time highs. Have you had any conversations with the bank? The reason I came to be on housing is because I couldn't afford my mortgage and I needed to figure out what I should do. The main goal was to keep my house. The counselor went over budget with me. She explained what my options were. She went over ways to cut my expenses. We can call the bank. We can say you want to keep your home. That home was given to me by my grandparents, and it's been in our family since the early 80s. So it's kind of nice that I still have it, and I can still try and eventually give it to my kids. We just broke ground on a brand new 42 unit, four story senior building across from the grocery store we built a year ago. I have been in Paysdale for 45 years, and we have not had a full supermarket since I have been here. This is just what we need. Under the Successful Children's Vision Element, we're doing just a remarkable number of things. And a great example of that is our Paysdale After School Program. We have a state licensed after school program where we're licensed to serve up to 50 children. But we ensure that they get their homework done and we also offer reading tutoring through the Supplemental Education Services program. Are there any proper nouns in the sentence? So what we're doing here is working with the Normie School District and we're enhancing what they're already doing. What's the answer? And I think 24-1 is doing a great job at bringing all of us together and discussing how we can go ahead and expand our work so that we can reach more children. Everything that we do is in this 24-1. Every program is here and it benefits the kids and it benefits the adults. And we believe it's ultimately going to be the model that will be replicated not only in St. Louis but throughout the country.